There is a reason why we look so cool and we have our names and schools hanging around our necks on placards. We're about to have a spelling showdown. The annual Scripps Spelling Bee is so gripping, so tense. The finals are televised each year on ESPN. It's a real competition. C O M P E T I T I O. -N. You can't even spell it and you're reading it off no, the teleprompter. I was looking at you. Oh, man, you I was see? looking at you. I thought you were used to me. You were supposed to spell competition. You stopped spelling Compton. <laughs> C O M P T O N. That ain't how you spell competition. <laughs> I'm a singer. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, this year is final. I was trying to be cool to like stray from the thing, and I went T I O N. <laughs> unfortunately, this year's finals had to be called off due to the pandemic. A tough blow for my next guests who are supposed to be competing. Well, today they'll get their chance. Let's meet them first. She has competed in Spelling Bee since she was six years old. Last year, she made it to the second round of Scripps National B. Meet 14-year-old Colette. C-O-L-E-T-T-E. -E. You totally C -O -L -E -T -T -E. met. C-O-L-E-T-T-E. <laughs> he's competitive. I like it, folks. <laughs> Next, he's been competing in B since he was in diapers and made it to the National Spelling Bee three times. Meet 11-year-old Akash. What's up? Hey, 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 hey. It's on the screen. <laughs> All right, so Colette, I'll start with you. When did you each um, realize that you were great spellers? Um, I realized that I had a talent for spelling in kindergarten when my teacher used to give me weekly spelling tests and I got pretty much all of the words right. I remember spelling chrysanthemum correctly what? in kindergarten. I for uh, I, for a billion dollars, I'd probably not spell that right right now. <laughs> not at all. I, we we both be broke. Oh my gosh! And I that, know she's smart. You can tell she's smart because she said kindergarten. I know. I love she did. We just said kindergarten. I know. I'm worried about Cla Oh, she's gonna be good. Okay. Akash, what about you? When did you know? Well, that is a really great question. My parents say that I first started to gain interest. When I was about uh, between one and two years old, um, I, we always used to go to the library. So there would always be this room uh, for all the children's toys. And one of those was an alphabet mat. And I always went there. And then they discovered about the spelling bee. So they took me to my first spelling bee when I was two and a half years old. And yes, like you said, Kelly, I was still in diapers at that time. I uh, went through the written round and made it to the orals. So yes, they did actually announce on stage, we got a diaper boy participating, which was quite funny. Um, and then... Yes. Akash, this and, is and only then, an hour long show. Yeah. <laughs> right. We love you, Akash. Wait, I, here's the lesson I've just learned, Akash. I am taking my children to the wrong library. <laughs> that, that oh, his learned. parents sent him to the hot library early because they knew he was going to talk too much. I was like, they sent I him love to a it. place where he couldn't talk. <laughs> Learn these words. We love you. Well, okay, the official script spelling bee was very sadly for all those involved called off uh, this year due to the pandemic. It was a tough blow for everyone who practiced so hard, but we didn't want all that hard work to go to waste, so we thought we'd give Colette and Akash a chance to compete. And it's not just for bragging rights, people. It's for cold, hard cash. We reached out to Brainiac Kids who are changing the game for kids' brain nutrition with yummy snacks that help build kids' brains into their teens. And they're giving the winner $5,000. This is the first annual Kelly Spellies. The catch is with Kelly Spellies, we compete in teams. So you have a weak person on your team is what we're telling the children right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got me with Akash versus Anthony and Colette. We got this. We yeah, got this, that's Colette. great. You guys are going D-O-W-N down, whatever. We'll, we'll go, I did that one without the teleprompter. Okay. <laughs> we'll go one at a time, Akash and Colette will tackle words they'd usually have in the scripts B. 
Anthony and I will have to spell the names of famous people, which, let's be honest, might be harder. Here to host the Kelly Spellies, please welcome the official pronouncer of the Scripps Spelling Bee and the 1980 Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion, Dr. Jacques Bailey. <laughs> So, Dr. Bailey, what's the first word and who's it for? First word is for Akash, and the word is Bucatini. What's the word again? Bucatini. It's a long spaghetti-like pasta, but it has a hole down the center. Bucatini. All right, it's from Italian, right? That's correct. Latin to Italian to English. Bucatini. B U C C. A-T-I-N-I, Bucatini. Ah! Damn it, you got it wrong! Damn it, you got it wrong! No! No! Well, at least I'm going to learn a word, a new word today. <laughs> That's right, Akash! All right, next word. Next word is for Colette. The word is ramfeasled. Ramfeasled? Ramfeasled, it means exhausted. Colette, ask him to Could put it in a sentence. Yes, yes, that's just what I was going to say. Could you put it in a sentence, please? After a long day of studying all her spelling words, Colette was ram-feasled. Ram-feasled. <laughs> he doesn't know how to spell it. Mm. Don't listen to him. R-A-M. Feasled. F-E. A S E L E D Ram Feasled. Oh! That ain't what I said! Look. That ain't what I said, Colette! <laughs> Are you not listening? I got him over here telling you Ram Feasled. <laughs> we are off to a solid start, and I love that we're gonna be the ones that maybe win this because of that. Wow. Dr. Bailey, who gets the next word or celebrity name? The next word is for Anthony. Uh huh. And the word is. Matthew McConaughey. Ah, uh, could you repeat the word, please? <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Mm. Could you use it in a sentence, please? That, that, that's what I'm supposed to say, right, Colette? Use it in a sentence? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, well, could you use it in a sentence, please? Matthew McConaughey will be accompanying the band on the bongos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so child appropriate right now. Um, the etymology of the word, please. It's oh. origin. Oh my yeah. gosh. Mm -hmm. I think that came from his parents. Okay, okay. Uh, Matthew McConaughey uh, came from his mama and his daddy. Okay. Uh, Matthew, capital M. <laughs> it's a proper noun. A. T T H E W, Matthew. <laughs> McConaughey. Oh, McConaughey. Oh, okay, McConaughey. Capital M, lowercase C, uh, capital C. Whisper in my ear whenever you got it. Uh, <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, I'm about to spell cough, and that's not that's not McConaughey. Uh, McConaughey. Okay, now I got to go back to my how I did it growing up. McConaughey. M C C O N H E. McConaughey. I knew you did not. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you spell Matthew McConaughey? Nope. Can we have a steal? <laughs> <laughs> Next round, I want steals. All right, well, next word. Next word is for Kelly. Neither team has scored yet. The word is Chloe Seveny. What did you just say? <laughs> Chloe Seveny, the actress. Wow. OK. Right. Chloe, C-H-L-O-E. That's a purse. And it's nice. OK. Yeah. yeah. And, um, can you please repeat the last name for me? Seventy. No, he talked. Interference. Flag on the play. Wait, what is it again? Seventy. Seventy. 
You know what, Akash, I just want to take this moment to say I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> because I That's don't know. fine. This is how the seventy. Um, seventy. Um, S E B E N T Y. Seventy. V. Oh, no, that's seventy. Seventy. S E V. Um, how many times are you gonna say S E V? Well, as many times it takes. He um, didn't say seven, seven, in, seventy. Um, I'm gonna say E. I. G or Ooh. there's a G? No, or, or no. Time ran right out. Dang! Time ran out. That's a time limit. Jeez. Okay, so none of us win, um, cause we well we're all losers today. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but in my world, I'm with a gosh. We learned some new words. Today. I still don't know how to spell seventy, but no losers in my world, y'all. So Akash, Colette, you're both getting five thousand dollars from Brady. Hey! Congratulations! Hey! Woo! Thanks for playing, everybody. Let's all read more. All right, until next year. Uh, to find out more about the Scripps National Spelling Bee program, head to our Instagram story.